This video will cover an introduction to the 8th edition of MLA Citation Style. We will focus on the Works Cited page. The Works Cited page is found at the end of your paper. The citations listed on this page provide detailed information for each source used in your paper. While your in-text citations contain the author and page number, the citations in your Works Cited page contain much more information. Anyone reading your paper should be able to easily identify the resources you consulted by looking at the citations in your Works Cited page. Each source that is cited as an in-text citation must appear in your Works Cited page, and each source cited in your Works Cited page must appear as an in-text citation in your paper. We'll cover some common types of sources you may need to cite in your papers, including journal articles, newspaper and magazine articles, and websites. First, let's identify where you will find the information needed for your citations. You'll need the title of the article and the author. Other information you need is typically at the bottom or at the top of the article. You'll see the journal title. This is the name of the journal where the article is published. You'll see the year of publication and the volume and issue numbers. These show exactly when the article was published. The volume always comes before the issue number, and sometimes there is no issue number. You'll also need to include the page numbers and the DOI if your article has one. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier, and it's a unique identifier specific to each article. These details are needed in your Works Cited page so the readers of your paper can locate the exact resource you used. Journal article citations follow this format author last name, comma, first name. If there are two authors, include a comma after the first name, the word end, and then write the other author's first and last names in order. If there are three or more authors, write the words et al after the first author's name. Et al is a Latin phrase that means end others and it replaces the other author's names. After the author is the title of the article in quotations, and a period. This is written in title case, which means all major words are capitalized. The journal title is then written in italics, followed by a comma. Then comes the volume number, abbreviated VOL, period, comma. The issue number, abbreviated NO, period, comma. The year of publication, comma. And then the page numbers of the article, period. The page range of the article follows the abbreviated PP period, which stands for pages plural. Then the name of the database is listed in italics. The database name can be found in a variety of places. When using Search Everything on the library homepage, databases in which you can access a particular article are listed in the section that says View Online Full Text Availability. Database names are also listed in the library's research guides under the Articles section. These names should also be listed at the top of the page when searching. After the database name is a comma and then the DOI. The date of access is optional. Magazine and newspaper articles follow a similar format. They won't have a DOI listed, so you may include the URL instead of a DOI and the date that you access the article. Like journal articles, citation information for magazine and newspaper articles might be found at the top or at the bottom of the page. The format for citing a web page is the author's name and then the title in quotation marks. If there is no author, begin the citation with the title. Then include the name of the website in italics, the publication date if available, comma, the URL, period, and the date you access the website, if applicable. Remember that the first item in each of your works cited citations must correspond to what is listed in your in-text citations. When formatting your works cited page, the words works cited should be at the top of the page in Times New Roman 12 point font. Your citations should be alphabetized by the first entry in each citation, and all lines after the first line in each entry should be indented. This is called a hanging indent. You need to select a special formatting option to get a hanging indent because the regular tab spacing does not work for this. In Microsoft Word, select the lines that you want to indent, then go to line and paragraph spacing, 
go to line spacing options. Then under indentation, special, select hanging. In Google Docs, again, select the lines that you want to indent. Go to format, align and indent indentation options then under special indent select hanging there should be no additional spaces between each citation the examples used in this video are from purdue owl the purdue university online writing lab this website is a useful tool to refer to when creating mla citations you might like to consult this resource for examples of citing other types of sources as well. Remember that librarians are available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.